Last summer, we decided to explore a bit more the surroundings of our new home. I was surprised to see how short spring is over here. In just a month, we jumped from the snow to the summer. It was a real pleasure to see that we are living in the middle of a wonderful area, with so many hikes to do. I actually heard many locals feeling sort of guilty to go visit other countries while there is so much to do and see in this place. And even through an entire lifetime over here, they didn't discover everything. I did enjoy so much leaving the village and the society to go in the mountains, which was an easy thing to do by the way. Just 15 minutes of walk and there is no sign of the civilization anymore. At some places it was almost like nobody ever been there. And I loved this kind of peace so much. Today a new summer is at the door. And even if I didn't explore everything around here yet, I want to travel a bit in the country. Norway is such a big place, and everything is sort of far from everything. Especially here in the fjords. Because of the big mountains, it's difficult to not be doing a two hours drive to visit the closest city. 
which is something I actually love, but it makes it more difficult to travel when you don't have a car. Anyway, I decided last minute to visit and help an old couple in their garden, four hours away from where I live. Their place is in Valdres, not far from the highest mountain of Norway. The deal was that I would be host and feed for free while I'm helping them with their project and their garden. It was definitely a challenge for me, who's a big introvert, but I believe that it is good sometimes to go out of our comfort zone. To arrive at their place, we needed to drive through Jotunheim National Park, which was such a big contrast with our home. We left our valley with a beautiful, warm weather, everything was green, and the first flowers were blooming already. But as we drove towards Valdres, the snow became more and more present. It was like going back in time and experiencing winter again. It was so crazy for me to see a frozen lake in the middle of June. On the road, I had the chance to meet my first reindeers, but also I realized that the diversity of landscapes in this country is truly wonderful. When I met Olaf and Knut, I was first a bit scared because the snow was still here on some part of their property and I was supposed to help at the garden. I remember thinking, guys, what will you plant in the snow? But soon enough, I understood their way of doing things every year in the garden. Since the night were still freezing cold, none of the plants would survive outside. So every morning we would expose them outside and every night we would bring them back in the greenhouse. And so until the freezing temperature were gone. Freezing temperature every night in June, that is new for me.
Every day with them, I learned a lot about having a garden in such a difficult place to grow anything. Which is pure gold for me, since I would love one day to have a garden in Norway myself. I need to learn everything again, because the conditions here in this country are so different from the one in France. In just a few days, I had learned a lot about gardening, but not only. In fact, Olaf and Knut are both artists. And on top of that, both are incredible human beings who love to share about everything. We had so many good conversations together, and slowly we were acting like a small family. They showed me around how beautiful the nature is. Honey, come over. Party's gone slower. And no one will tell you. We know you got sober. So much juice in the kitchen. They showed me their arts and their friends' arts. I also discovered Dan Valdres area as such a beautiful community of artists. Visiting them and their workshop made me feel like there is a place for me in this world. Because since I was a kid, when I was talking about what I want to become in the future, I always said, I want to paint and create on top of a mountain. And many, many times through my life, I felt like this was just a dream that has no place in reality. But not in Valdres, because I met wonderful people who are living from their arts and they live on top of a mountain. After a few weeks spent with them, I felt like I had had one of the best social experiences of my life. I learned so much about gardening, about nature, about art, about life itself. And most of all, I learned to open my heart to people again. I learned that it is okay to be who I am and to do what I love to do. Because they showed me how appreciated I was and how good what I was doing was. They taught me how important it is to follow our dreams, even if it means doing one tiny step at a time. My mama told me, son, always be a good boy. Don't ever play with guns. Well, I shot a man in Reno just to watch him die. Then I hear that I was so blowing. I hear my head hang. Well, if they freed me from this prison, if that railroad train was mine, I bet to move it over a little farther than the line. Far from folks and prisons, that's where I long to stay. Then I hear I was over when blow my blues away.
I will never stop to be grateful for all they give me. I feel so lucky that my step crossed their path. When it was time for me to go back home, I knew that I will be more than welcome to come back, visit them in the future. Yet, I felt sad to leave them. But on my way home, I tried to comfort myself thinking about the cats that I missed while I was gone. I was also looking forward to plants in my tiny garden after all the tips and knowledges they taught me. And like every time when we arrived on the top of our valley, I was amazed. Our valley has such a big place in my heart. In all the places I visited and lived in, this one is in my opinion the most beautiful of all. The nature over here didn't wait for me to bloom. When I left, it was spring, but now summer is here, and I will never stop to contemplate its magic. <laughs> And pretend 